All right. So this is round one against Mr. Vandergus, the guy who writes the draft player. He's a very, very good draft player. Uh, but we're going to crush him with my Big Bad Bartok plus Grove Matriarch, I guess. I don't know. I don't have a real reason to play Guitar Sprite other than, I guess, Herd Mother. Yeah, Herd Mother is really my only reason to play Guitar Sprite. I have no Spring Dryads. I have no Harbingers of Spring. They just didn't exist in the draft. Uh, so I'm going to play Bartok, try to establish some early game, and then I can play... Uh, depending on what he plays, I can block the Crucible Colossus, but that seems unlikely. I'm probably just going to play Grove Matriarch. Uh, maybe not blocking, maybe not. Maybe blocking, maybe not, I mean, because, yeah, aggressive, aggressive Grove Matriarchs are always nice. <laughs> they're kind of, they're not really difficult to block, because you can kill them with 5-5s, five but they always leave a 1-1 one -one behind, which is kind of annoying, because you don't know what they're going to do. Okay, so I hope he doesn't pump that, uh, but I do have that one sap in my, my deck. Uh, I'm not going to block that card. I, I'll just take four, and I don't really want to level the sap, but I've got another big red Bartok I'm guaranteed to draw, so I can uh, block it when it's attacking me then. Uh, he might have side lane cards. I don't truly care. Uh, big red Bartok stomps through all of them, all the zombie titans in the world. Okay, there's a big, there's the Bartok, so I can just block his Necrogrims at this turn with my other Bartok. I, I really don't like having two of those cards in my deck. Because uh, it feels like that's all I ever draw going into rank 2 or 3. <laughs> and at rank 2, it's just a 10-10, which is average. At rank 3, it's absolutely garbage. Okay, there's a Brood. Uh, so that's why I played the, the Bartok in the side lane. Because he, he can do a lot of damage to it here, but he has to have like a deep branch power to kill it. Okay, so he twin strength his creatures, which sucks for me. I'm, I think I'm just going to play Shark Luck Crusher and Bartok. Um, because my other play is what, like Bartok trades with Mechrub over two turns, and he has a potential to kill it with like a uh, uh, Phyrex Embrace, any Torgmai, even Torgmai Mender I think saves it, right? No, it, Tor Torgmai Mender wouldn't save it, but he can, he can still kill the Bartok, which I don't want to risk, because I can't allow this Necrub to live as a 7 power creature attacking me over and over and over again. That's going to be impossible to block, uh, because of the regen 3. So I'll just play a Crusher and a Bartok in front of it, and then... Uh, hit him for what 13 here. Uh, this pistol brood's actually kind of hard to deal with as well. Uh, though pit guard almost kills it. Uh, if my creatures live, I can play pit guard and ancient and ancient trades with it because it would be an 8 8. <laughs> um, I actually hope that's what happens. Uh, I think that would be the best. He can kill Bartok if he has a deep branch prowler, and um, we know he's a new Terra because he played twin strength, but I believe that's the only thing with eight power at rank one. That's a new Terra and Tempest. Oh, he could have a Rod Fiend. No, Rod Fiend's not enough. That's only a 7 8. So with Abyssal Brood, it would only be an 8 9, which would still die to Bartok. Uh, you could, you know, use a Shard Claw Crusher to kill it. Shard Claw Crusher plus Creature, that also kills it. Uh, Oxen Spitter would trade, make this a clean trade. And then I guess he doesn't have a. He either chumps the Bartok or just ignores it. Looks like. Oh, he. Oh, okay, okay. So he's leveling the Grimmie for Witch, which is smart because I have the uh, the Grove Matriarchs. Uh, so now I'm going to play Pit Guard open lane and then uh, trade his Brute for my Ancient. Uh, gets plus 4 plus 4 because my lanes are all full. And then, you know, putting in pressure. I need to win this game kind of quickly. Uh, unfortunately, I, I almost have Raid. This this dies and I'm only attacking with two creatures. I'm, I'm still assuming he can't kill the Bartok. It's even harder if he doesn't have a Vistle Brood on the board, because then he needs a Deep Branch Prowler plus something else. Deep Branch Prowler is only an 8-8 rank 1. There's that sap from earlier. <laughs> this, uh, you know, I, I still like the, the Shark Claw Crusher Bartok play, but if I had a sap instead of a Shark Claw Crusher, I probably would have just played sap on the the uh, Necromiba and then played a, a Bartok in the open lane. Okay, so he twin strengths his creatures to kill my Bartok and keep his witch alive. Uh, luckily, all my cards suck right now. <laughs> so what did I level? I have one Grim Matriarch, two Bartoks, a Pit Guard, a Crusher, and a Deep Branch Agent. So really nothing to keep my land stable. Uh, I'm playing General, then I guess I can play Herd Mother. Herd Mother is also a 9-9, just like Cavern Serpent. Uh, but it has a, a much larger potential upside. And I'll deal with the uh, the deep branch probably later. It was just more efficient to block the Glimmer for which because it would be dealing 14 to me, whereas the Prowler would be dealing uh, only 11. So now I guess I can play Torgmander in front of the deep branch Prowler and then Bartok. I think that's 
I don't know what I'm pumping with the Mender yet. Uh, certainly not that. I guess I just pumped the Vartok. Making a 10-15 is a lot better than keeping my Alloyan General alive, I think. I don't care too much about the Alloyan General. It's only got 2 power, which means it's really, really easy to block. Uh, I could put this in the side lane so he can't play his level 2 Brutes, but it's easier to kill if it's in the side lane, so I'll just not put it in the side lane. And then block this here. I could Twin Strength my two creatures, but I wanted to kill his uh, Prowler. Okay, so I've got Matriarch and then probably Twin Strength, in all honesty. Uh, level 2 Necronymous is 710, so it's actually pretty hard for him to block anything but my Matriarch. Uh, Bartok is only a 1015, because this guy dies. Uh, if he's lucky, he gets to block it with a zombie for free. If you owe. And he doesn't want to take the chance. I think I'd at least try it. Uh, he can't kill it with a pump spell, I don't think. Yeah, that's not enough damage. It does protect his spell strider, but I don't I don't know if that's worth it. <laughs> I mean, now I just play this and pump both my creatures. It kills his zombie and my uh, Bartok lives. Hopefully his zombie doesn't spawn in front of the Bartok. That would suck. Okay, it didn't. And it spawned in front of the side lane, which is nice, because I know he has a... Uh, What's it called? A low, not a low in general, Abyssal Brute, so now he can't use that side lane. And I have no reason to block that for a few turns. There's a Symbiote, kills my guy. Then I wonder if he blocks the Matriarch. I guess if he has a good block on it, he will. That's a really good block. <laughs> um, hmm. So I'm going to play... I will block off his side lane, because it gives me a good block here. Uh, I can just put a Grub Matriarch there. I could put Shark Claw Crusher to lead into the next turn. Uh, but what am I Shark Clawing? Shark Claw, Herd Mother, Bartok. Actually, you know, those are pretty good options. Uh, the only question is whether I want to do that, or is whether it's better to level a Grub Matriarch. Because Grub Matriarch scale is significantly better than uh, Shark Claw Crusher. Eh, I'll, I'll try the Shark Claw Crusher route. I think I'm going to come back and regret it. I think Grove Matrix is a better level, but we'll see. At least I got to kill a Spirit Token. That's why I played the General. I don't think I mentioned it. Uh, but I played the General because of my seedling traits with the Spirit Token, which makes his, uh, his value off of his... Uh, what's it called? Is not nowhere near as good as he should be. His Death Seeker. Okay, so I've got an Ordnance Captain and a Patron. Uh, I can't play Ordnance Captain in formation if I want to like replace this Shard Claw Crusher. So I'm probably going to end up playing Patron Bartok. Or possibly... Uh, I guess it just depends. We'll see. Uh, Patron does kill his Abyssal Fruit, which is nice. If you play something in a side lane, I might just trade the uh, Necromoeba. I don't have anything to deal with that other than a Shard Claw Crusher creature. So if I play Bartok in front of the Brute and then Ordnance Captain here, that pumps my creatures, but I don't, I don't know if that's good enough. Having a 9 power creature in the side lane is very good though. And it's aggressive now, which means it's attacking him. Yeah, I think... If I play Bartok in front of... And I play Bartok over the Crusher, and then Patron here, he can't, he can't dominate my side lane, but it makes my Bartok super weak. Because uh, it's a creature we get plus 2, plus 2, and this would only be a 15, 15. So if he puts like a, if he has a 9, 9, like a Prowler or something in it, it would be an 11, 11, and Bartok would only have 4 health. And then, I don't know, I think it's just more efficient maybe to play Bartok. But where do I play Bartok? If I play Bartok here, and it, I still get dealt damage. Or I still don't do as much damage. Maybe the Patron play is the best. I could play Bartok here, and then I have no idea, and then like Patron here. That makes 9 damage work, and then, yeah, I, okay, I like that much better. I'll just play my Uterra card first to pretend I messed up. Oh no, I don't have allied Uterra now. <laughs> that way they don't actually know how many uh, Uterra cards I have. Well, when I get hands like these, it looks like I have a lot, but I actually don't. Um, I don't want to block this Necromoeba. I don't know if, because it blocks all my creatures, and I'm on a pretty short block here, because I'm going to be drawing 11-11s this rank, guaranteed, and it's going to be super annoying. Uh, at the same time, it's like my only level 3 cards, sort of. They're 
they're like level two cards. They don't they don't progress from level two to level three. <laughs> they just get plus one plus one. Ugh, that's that's pretty rough. It's like a what seventeen seventeen? I have no idea how I'm gonna kill that. Region five. Yeah, see, so putting the Bartok over the Crusher would have been super bad uh, for them. <laughs> I think I'm going to play Matriarch and then Twin Strength. Matriarch is only 12 power, though, which is unfortunate. I need 9 power to kill the Necromipa with Twin Strength. It does trade with it, but in the process of trading, I'm giving him two 3-3s, three which sucks. At the same time, I don't know if I can continue ignoring it, especially when I need Twin Strengths. Okay, so what's my plan here? I think I just died in his large Necrium creatures. Uh, but let's play uh, Twin Strength on the Grove Matriarch and the Bartok. And then I guess hope he can't deal with the Bartok. Is this my plan? I think this is my plan. Because I know I can't deal with his creatures. <laughs> I hope he can't deal with mine. <laughs> I have I didn't I don't have any grave packs. My sap is under level. That's like the only thing I have. Palladium wave is gonna cut it. I have uh, no way to Shark Claw Crusher his creatures. My Damar's pick guard's only level 2, I didn't draw it last turn. Uh, that big downside of having a big Bartok. I'd much rather have like a Forge Guardian Delta than a big bad Bartok. <laughs> okay, so there's the double block, and then I, I just die. So I chump these creatures. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, I, lose the, I lose the late game, because I just can't deal with them, and I can't, I can't pressure his uh, life total if he's just going to block with uh, persistent threats like other wolves and... Uh, Death Seeker, so he got me. Good game, Stem. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, then begin the next round and go for my my O2 victory. Because every time I draft two big of Artex, I just hate life. <laughs> but I'll see y'all then.